Okay, so a lot of people, a lot of us, assume that we have to have a car to do the things that we need to do. But today I'm going to show you how you can haul a bunch of stuff without a car. Hi, it's Emily from Bite Size Vegan and welcome to another vegan nugget. Today's video is a bit of an informal video, more of a practical how-to to show you how to haul things when you don't have a car. Now I use a burly trailer that I'm about to hook up to my bike and I have that linked in the video description below. You can always buy a different variety. You can also make one on your own for pretty cheap or buy a used one on Craigslist or a similar website. I've got the bike loaded up. Uh, I have some things I have to take to the post office. I'm going to pick up some produce and I am going to mail also um, rewards to my patrons, people who support me on Patreon, so that I can do what I do. Uh, they get different rewards, one of which is a sticker. Ooh, uh, very exciting. Here's the setup. Got the burly. It's going to be hauling the mail. Got my bike, the burly. You can also just put on a milk carton crate will often carry a lot of stuff. I also have a bag here. I have a second one as well. So if I really want to load up everything, I can haul quite a bit. post office so I'm going to gather up all of the rewards to send to my patrons and it's kind of cool because a lot of them are international so I get to send things to different countries and it's just neat knowing that number one that I have support from people all over the world and also getting to actually use the snail mail which I feel like we don't use anymore it's you know we rarely get anything in the actual mail except for stuff from Amazon and things like that so let's head on in so I got to stay in line for quite some time, but here I am getting ready to mail things around the world. If you'll notice, I have a fantastic duct tape wallet that I created with duct tape with owls on it. And I'm quite proud of that creation, so I'm just gonna rock that out at the post office. And this is really boring, let's fast forward. So I still have this big package to send to UPS, so we're gonna go do that. And then we're gonna head to the co-op to pick up my produce and I'll show you some delicious vegan food. All right, let's go. And we have arrived. Time to mail again. Well, that was fast. Now it's time to head over to the co op, which is right around the corner. I forgot I also need to pick up some socks for my freakishly small feet. So that's what those are. Now here we are at Cornucopia, my local co-op. And I feel very fortunate to have this co-op because I lived in Florida for my whole like childhood and adolescence. And then I was recently there for about a year again. And they just do not have local co-ops. But I was able to still buy in bulk through chain stores, which you can still actually do most of the time if you talk to someone in produce. I also love that here you can do overripe bananas for 69 cents a pound and these are organic and fair trade. And most chain stores will not let you do overripe bananas, but if you find a nice independent place or you go to a farmer's market, a lot of times they will have deals. So here you can see my haul so far. I've got my socks, I've got my organic bananas, I've got two organic red cabbages, and then that's a case of local organic romaine. And after I check out, I'm gonna bring you guys around the co-op to show you some of the other vegan options that they have here. So here's actually something at the counter that was interesting called a power wrap and it's like a nori roll, like the seaweed with some other stuff inside of it, which I have never seen before. And then down here, which is kind of cool, you have vegan jerky, which is like the disgusting beef jerky that you see at a gas station, only it's vegan, which is pretty fantastic of an option. All right, so let's go and see what else they've got around this store. Here is a really cool case that's got all of these vegan custom things, a black bean burrito, they've got BLTs, they've got falafel sandwiches, they've got dill spread sandwiches, uh, buffalo wings, these are tofu broccoli knishes, here's another tofu chocolate knish, uh, vegan egg rolls, 
They've got these different uh, Indian dishes that are vegan. And then they have this whole different lineup here of vegan pre-made foods that are pretty cool, like dumplings, uh, pad thai, things like that. Here's a bunch of hummus. And then we're gonna go over to the refrigerated section in here, and you've got all kinds of different vegan meats, meat alternatives that are pretty cool. You got different seitan, tofu, tofurkey, all kinds of options here. You have vegan butter and veganaise, which is the mayonnaise. You've got some creamer, you have yogurt, and here is this really cool cheese called chow, I'm assuming is how you say it, and this delicious Hail Mary tarts are these decadent desserts, and they have multiple flavors like dark chocolate, key lime pie, and things. You've also got diet cheese there, Parmesan, you've got cream cheese, all of it is vegan. And here you have a wall of plant milk and some cereal. Now we're gonna head over to a couple more of the vegan dessert options, these cookies which are also very, very decadent. These giant cookies, and all of these are vegan. You've got chocolate chip, you've got oatmeal raisin, you've got fudge, you have peanut butter, all kinds of different stuff around here that is all vegan. All right, now I get to carry my big case of awesome produce down the stairs and strap it onto my bike and head on home. And here's a great thing about not having a car. If you're having trouble fitting your fitness into your routine, Hauling stuff on your bike while going up hills and just in general is a pretty good workout. I also want to acknowledge that I know not everyone has great co-ops with lots of vegan options in their area, but like I said, the vast majority of my life I lived in places that did not have vegan options and it's still very doable. And of course then you get to an even steeper hill which is even more enjoyable. So I thought I would slow this down to show you guys how long it actually takes me to, to climb this hill when I'm hauling some stuff. Today, this time it wasn't that bad, but when I have a case of, you know, 40 to 60 pounds of citrus and two 20 pound cases of zucchini and a case of romaine on days like that, I go almost as slow as possible to get up this hill just because I'm pulling so much behind me. But it's a great workout and if you're having trouble finding the time, if you don't have the money to be a member of a gym or whatever. This is a great way to get your errands done, get everything you need to get done, and get a bit of fitness in as well. All right, so now I've got really good post-biking helmet hair happening, but there you go. We went to the post office, we went to UPS, and we went to the co-op to get some greens and bananas and cabbage. It was good. It's really hot today, but it just shows you, you really honestly don't need a car. And at times, it's actually faster this way, at least where I live right now. Now, I do live in a place where everything's about like 5 to 15 minutes away, which is new for me. But I did this kind of stuff when I lived in Florida, where everything is at least 30 to 45 minutes away that you need to get to. And I still hauled boxes and boxes of produce and other things back and forth. I also did that in Iowa where where I lived still in the town everything was close together but I lived in the middle of a cornfield so it was at least 20 minutes for me to get into town so this is very doable you don't have to even be in super good shape but the thing is this will really help you get into better shape if you're actually biking to get places so that is I think my favorite type of cardio because I hate cardio but if I'm doing something that I actually like doing and I get to move around and be outside, it's like sneaky cardio. So get on your bikes, do stuff. If you like this video and getting to see kind of a day in the life of how I get things done practically, give it a big thumbs up. Let me know if you like it. I'll try to do some more. Um, if you're new here, please do hit that big red subscribe button down there if you liked what you saw and uh, check out some of my other videos. I have some more of my informal-ish, vlog-ish, real life-ish ones over here and then I have some more hardcore educational on my channel as well so you can kind of peruse and see what you think. Now go live vegan, get off your butt and bike, which is technically still on your butt and I'll see you soon.